Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are going to have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with a designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You want to make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. <laughs> hello everybody. Hey Vicki. Hey Ashley. Hello, hello. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in quite a bit. <laughs> How are you? I've had um, a bit of a week, <laughs> but here we are and I'm going to do a fun chalking project with you guys. Tell me how you're doing. Let's see who's here. I did not think I'd be drinking wine today. Um, I left work earlier this week. I think it was Wednesday. Like dry heaving oh it's horrible I still manage to go to work every day but it's a bad scene I don't know how I did it I still don't know how I did it but I did it I didn't lose anybody this week <laughs> yet <laughs> so um I didn't think I was gonna be able to make it live but here we are and I didn't really think ahead on a project but there has been a transfer that I've really wanted to do. So we're gonna do that tonight. Um, let me just show you guys my workspace and see how this looks here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my surface. At first I was like, maybe we should do more of the Club Couture. And then I thought um, to do another 4th of July project, but I have been really wanting to do a certain transfer so here I have our Chalk Couture 18 inch round I love this surface it is double-sided and it has um, a little slot at the top and it comes with some burlap that you can hang this with this one um, took a little beating at some of the shows I've been to so it's more or less my practice board um, but I can always just touch that up with some black chalk paste or some black paint to make it perfect again. But this is the surface we're going to use. Again, this is our 18 inch round boutique board um, from Chalk Couture. And this is the transfer I really wanted to do. This one, always take the scenic route. I think this one is super cute and it has some cut lines on it. And then we have some oars here. Um, and then we have the northeast, west, south with registration marks so we know exactly where they go. But first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this transfer. Look how cute this little canoe is also. So we'll see what we can fit on this 18 inch round. Um, depending on how much of this transfer you want, you can put as little or as much as you want. And what I love about these transfers is that they're so versatile. So you can make so many different projects. If you just wanted the canoe, you can do the canoe. If you just wanted the words and the, um, I don't know if they're paddles or oars. I don't know. You could just do that. Look at this cute little one here. 
super cute. I'm gonna cut this. This would make a really cute pillow if you wanna use your Chalk Couture inks um, or any type of sign. This would be really cute at like a lake house also. And you can see here the registration marks here and here. And then we have registration marks here and here. Um, I have a Sharpie and I'm just gonna quickly write what these are so that I don't stick it back to the wrong side because these are reusable silk screen transfers. And also, so I know what goes what to what. Um, I always say news, north, east, west, south. But I know some people go north, east, south, west, never eat, sour, something. I, I guess people have a lot of acronyms and stuff, but I just say northeast, west, south. I don't know. I'm just weird. And we'll say, or how have you guys been? I want to hear how your week's been because mine is not something to talk about. Um, and then we have... And today, today was better. Today is the first day that I think I realized I really came around. All right. So let's see what we can fit on here. I love these words. Always take the scenic route. Route or root? I don't know if Amanda Ogle is on here, but she always likes to correct my pronunciation. Um, and then I definitely want, I thought I dropped that in the water. So I think we're gonna do this and this on here. And then we can save the canoe and the little oar for another project, okay? So now we need to talk about some colors. So think about some colors. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is this part here. So these are reusable silk screen transfers. I have a fuzzing cloth here. If you're using our fuzzing cloth, you wanna use a side that has the tag on it, or you can use a soft cloth that um, you can just get some lint off of. We want to take our transfer, and when they're bigger like this, I like to just peel half of it and stick it onto my towel. That way you don't have to worry about the sticky sticking to the sticky, okay? Here we go. And then, since it's brand new, I am going to fuzz it a couple times. We want to soften the adhesive so that we don't damage our transfer because it is a textile. It is a silk screen. Ooh, marigold. That's a good color. Um, I think we can probably fit a lot of different colors on here, but we will definitely use some marigold. Um, and it also protects our surface. Now, this is a chalk couture surface, so there's no need to worry. But a lot of the surfaces you get from the craft store may be a spray-on adhesive type um, chalk paint. That doesn't really stand up to things that are sticky very well. And they can ruin the back of your transfer by sticking to it. Um, or they could peel off the chalk paint that you have on. I see Ashley's yelling at some colors there. We'll be picking those out. So we fuzz this quite a few times, and well, let me put this back up here so I know what we're doing. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'm going to put this right here. And then once we place it where we want it, is that straight? I think I didn't have my board completely straight. Mm -mm -mm. I think that's good and then once we have it down we're going to smooth it down you want to make sure you don't have any air bubbles in here because bubble is trouble and you don't want um, a caked up look on your project I love how there's all these little specks in there so it makes it look um, really cool okay so we have this down um, so let's see what color. So far, Ashley has said marigold, which I see here. Um, I have all my yellows together. Marigold. And... Mm -mm -mm -mm. This looks like fawn to me. Yes. 
Marigold and Fawn. Um, I kind of want some of my color in there. You know what color I'm going to say, Ashley. I know you do. Because that would look good with the Marigold. The Forget-Me-Not, wouldn't it? I think the words would look good at the bottom. Well, well. Let's see. That's the good thing about these little transfers. Because all we have to do... can do any way you like and then again we're just going to smooth it down but they are restickable Ashley that's good these transfers say nice and sticky and if it becomes any less sticky then you can reactivate that stickiness using a disinfectant wipe okay so there we go um so I'm going to do some in forget me not Marigold, I love those two colors together. And then we have Fawn. Let's see. So we can do Fawn, 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 Fawn. I'm trying to think if I need a third color for these two in that same kind of family. decide I'm gonna go ahead and open these up so that we can stir them up and make sure we have the right consistency so this is our fawn when you open your chalk paste you want to make sure you have the consistency of sour cream or yogurt this is perfect there you go you want your chalk paste to be um, a good consistency so that it is able to go through the silk screen onto your service and not clog it up um, or be too thin so that it bleeds through. Marigold, which I think is perfect for this. I think I would have picked Marigold on my own. Marigold is a little on the thicker side. You can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some distilled water and give a spritz or two in here and then stir it up so that um, we can have a good consistency. I don't see the comments on the video. The, the um, comments actually might be a little delayed because they're not showing up on the computer that I was hoping was gonna show me. Instead, I have to wait for it to finally pop up on my, um, on my screen. But the video is on point, just not my, just not the comments. All right. This is a forget me not, and I do have a new one because this one is almost gone, believe it or not. I'm gonna see if I can get out of here and go back in to see y'all's comments. Oh, there we go, I found your comments. I think, we'll see. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, my forget-me-not jar needs some TLC. Maybe we can get away with doing these three colors, but I also want to have my bright white ready because I think I want to do the north, west, east, east, south. Never eat sour wheat. Is that what it is? I can't eat wheat at all, so... Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? All right, and then I don't know why my forget me not super chunky, but that's okay. We're gonna get it fixed right up. Um, I'm gonna grab my bright white, which I left at the other table. Let's see if this one. I opened a new one because this one was empty. So hold on a second. I was going to ask you guys if anybody here has watched or is watching that series called What If. Anybody? I always say never eat soggy Wheaties. <laughs> I like that, Ashley. 
Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay. So then I'm just spraying in the white. This is our bright white. And I'm just giving that some manhandling here because we want it to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. I do spend some time to make sure all of my paste are the right consistency because I find that most people send me a picture and if something has gone wrong, 98.7% time is because their consistency was not great on their paste. Um, so you want to make sure you have that right first. So let me get out some of my little guys here. We have squeegees of all different shapes and sizes. I have some that are cut are all my squeegees they're everywhere okay everywhere you can never have enough squeegees so um, we have the registration marks here that um, I'll do in a color that I can see I may need to turn the light on to match it back up but then we have we can do the paste and peel here because I may not go very fast because I haven't really masterminded my plan so we can do it that way we can do the I'll show you my um, paste and peel method anytime you have something you want to do in more colors if you try to do things slowly <clears throat> and you put all your chalk paste on here and you start here and you're dun 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 you're going around and you're talking by the time you get down to here all of this part here is going to be dry and then when you go to peel off your um, transfer your chalk paste is going to be dried in the silk screen and it's going to come off with it and you don't want that Sorry I wasn't able to make up. That's okay, Ashley. <laughs> How dare you feed them? <laughs> How dare you feed these people? Okay, that is okay. There's always opportunity. And oh, that reminds me. I did want to show you guys some things that came in this week before I added it to my inventory. There's some good stuff here. And some of them are some of my best sellers. So before I add them to inventory, I'm going to go ahead and show them in case somebody here is watching and you want to purchase these, okay? Here are some of the ones um, I may need to actually interrupt. I interrupt this broadcast to show you guys this. So I'm gonna show you some of these transfers that came in. You can claim it if you want um, and I don't have to put it through inventory. So I have some A size and some B size transfers. Let me show you what we have. And some of these are some of my very best sellers, okay? The first one is Cheers, celebrate party, three different words. This is an A size, perfect for bowls at parties or making little party signs or little tags, yeah? I am somebody that, um, if I'm buying you a gift, you're not getting a card to, uh, because cards nowadays are crazy. I like to make my own cards anyway, but um, if you buy a gift, I'm not spending another five bucks just to give a card so you know who the gift came from. I'll find a way to put um, something on there. And this is cute if you take a little piece of card stock, um, and you can chalk on cardstock and then you can just write on the back who it's from and you know what it is. So this is cheers, celebrate, and party. I meant to do this in the beginning and I completely forgot. And then um, look at this. Summer is my happy place. This is a super adorable A size five by seven. Um, that was sold out for a while. Life's a beach. This one I completely sold out at the Strawberry Festival. So now I do have two of these. Life's a beach. I don't expect those to last long. Um, welcome, hello, and gather. These look really cute on picture frames or to add as an accent to um, any of your little projects. Super cute. And you can also use that to embellish other transfers that you're already making. Look at the happy birthday cupcake. Isn't that cute? I love that. I have a lot of requests for this one. I can't even keep it in stock. This one I haven't had in a while. Please excuse the mess. Our children are making memories. This one's super fun and can go in any house with children. Um, I love you and naps. How cute is that? <laughs> I've always wanted to design that one on a pillow, but um, it keeps selling. And then I have this happy birthday. This one was on the last chance. I don't even know if they're available anymore, but at my last Michael's workshop, somebody bought my last one and I was lucky enough to snag another one. So I don't know if those are still gonna be around next time I check. And then we have the little minis that are camping. Look how cute those are. 
I do have two of these. I like to make my little mini kits with these, but I thought I'd show you because a lot of people are gonna be hitting the camping. And these look really good on the little camper mugs, um, coffee cups, little project. And then I have two exclusives. I don't even know if I'm allowed to do this, um, but I got my hands on two exclusives. So um, normally these are ones that you can only buy if you are a Club Couture member. Um, but I got my hands on these and I didn't want to be too selfish. So the first one is um, the February Oh Snap Collect Moments Not Things and it's the camera for any camera enthusiasts or people that like to scrapbook or just make fun signs. Yeah. And then the last one is the um, May. Remember the Hello Summer? We made a sign and we made um, a bag. <laughs> there we go. Yes, Sue, that is a good point. That is really cute on the books. And if that does not sell, eventually I hope to make some of those books. So you guys can all take a look um, with the replay or on here. And if you want to claim something, you can. Um, we're going to get back to here and I'm going to go ahead and do, oh, that's the one you like, Ashley. I'm going to go ahead and do the paste and peel method. So what that means is I'm going to take my fawn because I want the um, main part of my ore to be on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and chalk. I'm going to start on this side, on the right side. I'm going to get off the excess. And I just dip the little squeegee directly in there. And I'm gonna do a matching one on this side. There we go. And then to do the peel and paste method, all I'm gonna do is pull down a little bit on this side. and then pull it out a little bit on this side. Ashley, I know the February one is great. I had the one behind me that I did, so um, let's see. Yes, you can, Ashley. So the pull and paste means I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna pull it up to let it dry on the surface a little bit so I can put it back down. Oh, geez. And here is Look at that, oh snap, this is on um, a little chalk couture board. Isn't that cute? I like the um, ombre of the blues. I just love this, but I love to do stuff like that. Okay, so then the next color I'm gonna pick is the marigold. And I'm just gonna do I just realized that both of these sides are not the same. I wonder if it's my turns for all of them. Like these have little dots in them and one on this side does not. Let's see, that's okay. We're still gonna do them. Maybe that's a rowing thing because I don't know how to row. Maybe that it's done that way on purpose. Does anybody here row? <laughs> hmm. Row, row, row your boat. I don't know what I want to do with that one there. Maybe I'll make that one fawn too. Maybe one, it's so you know one is right and left. I don't know. I'm just coming up with my own theory. Let me see. I don't know. Paste all over my fingers now. Um, Ashley, if you're talking about ordering for me directly, all you ever have to do is um, send me a private message of what you like and then I will send you an invoice. Okay. And then we're moving down to this part. I have paste all over my fingers already. 
And I'm going to do this part again in the fawn. My mystery hostess party, everyone, is still going until tomorrow. If you're interested in... I was so excited when I found out that I won the mystery hostess for... Um, a pamper chef party that I just made a purchase at. I was so excited. I got so much free stuff for being the mystery hostess. It was so exciting. And they, there was some new stuff that I really wanted to try. So super excited. It's always fun to win stuff. And then right when I scheduled my mystery hostess party, I won the mystery hostess for a Norwex party and got crazy amount of things from that party. I mean, I haven't even unpacked it all yet. Look how cute these are. What do you guys think so far? Isn't that cute? Mm. Okay, just like for the party pack. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright. Mm. pick so if I do fawn blue fawn blue fawn blue fawn blue yellow blue yellow fawn yeah let's see let's do one side and see how that looks we'll do <laughs> yes, I um, posted something on the page, and I like participation. So, what did I post? Was it the selfie day? And I said, post your selfie for a chance to win a squeegee. And what I did that day was everybody that posted was a winner. Um, I like to do that sometimes. Let me see. Let's see if this blue is... Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. Hold on. I don't want to mess this up. I'm going to go ahead. I need to find my little tiny, um, yeah, it was a selfie day, a little tiny squeegee because I don't want to mess up on these lines. Or I don't think I unpacked my multi-tool from a, my last party. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. Here, this will work for the blue. This is just a little small one because I want to get this part. And of course, you could always do this whole thing in one or two colors and be done with it. But for some reason, I thought it would be difficult. So we have that. And the yellow. Trying to get off the excess. There. And there. Can't tell if I got some where I wanted the blue or not, but it's okay if they blend in a little bit. And we'll put the little blue here. And you are right, you can never have enough squeegees. As you can see, I'm scrambling around looking for all of mine and they're all packed away. I like these mini ones, but I really wonder if any new tools are gonna come in the brand new catalog that comes out in July. July the 2nd, the new catalog will be here. And I will be in Dallas getting a copy. And I'm hoping to have some time while I'm in Dallas to hop on here and show you guys like page by page what's gonna be in the catalog, but I can't decide if I'm gonna do that just for the Club Couture members. Dun, 
so I got some blue in the fawn, but it's really cute. Look at that. It's vivid, huh? I have that. I'm going to come to the other side. I'm kind of impressed because I'm doing this half line because I don't have a little light on because the little light was causing um, a bunch of shadows and uh, glares on the on the camera. Um, but without it, I can't see. <laughs> so we'll just put these on here. some of my forget-me-not what do you guys think so far <laughs> our other or it's super cute now the only thing um, I need to do are those registration marks on this part so I'm just gonna put those get my registration marks and I'm just gonna make them white like that now I'm done with this transfer I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put it into my water bath. Me too, Ashley, and I'm gonna put it in my water bath that's at my feet. I always keep it at my feet so that I don't splash on my project. Okay. I got one of those Fab Fit Fun Boxes the other day, and it has a mini blow dryer in it. So now, I can have two little dryers. <laughs> okay. So, let me move these to the side so I can get to my fuzzing cloth. I don't think it's fully dry though, so I'm gonna have to do that again. It is super cute. I would really, 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 really love to do this on our square pillow. I think that would look really cute. All right, so then I'm going to take our Never Eat Shredded Wheat. Is that what it is? Never Eat Shredded Wheat? We're going to fuzz this a few times. And you don't even have to put this part on. You could just leave it like that and it's really cute. I think. And 
and then we are going to line up these registration marks. I really cannot see them, but let's see. I'm gonna try not to um, press down where the ore is because I don't wanna press the adhesive on here. I don't know if it is Sue, actually, let me see. It just says Nicole Heat Tool. This is something that I've had for years. I did not get this for Chocotour. Um, hold on, I'll tell you. Heat gun, 120, 320 watts, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I actually had this for, um, it is very versatile. I had it for embossing stuff, too, um, with my scrapbooking and my card making. Okay. I took Monday off from work so I could take care of some things and I had a day off from working Memorial Day so hopefully we can do a project on Monday that might be the next project all right so we have our letters on here I can't wait to see this okay you ready do, 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 do. I love it. All right, so I'm going to put this in the water bath. And then I'm going to take... <clears throat> that looks better than I thought. And I'm going to get off <laughs> these little registration marks. Okay. So now we just have one. And we're going to fuzz this one. It's never a video without hearing my husband scream at my child upstairs. And my child crying. It's not a video without that. So what do you think we should do with these letters? So we can put this on here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have some kind of super lint <laughs> on the back of this. Let me get that off. It looks like some of the chalk paste. What should we do with these letters? We can do them in white or we can do them always take that in white and then do I don't know what do you guys think I think you should do the words half blue and half yellow like an ombre you mean or all yellow oh Jesus all right I need to squirt it again because it's been open. Yep, that's that's my uh, that's my family. Ezra, get down here. Ezra, oh my gosh, half and half. Ezra, come here. 
Do you guys? <sighs> We're all yellow. Half and half. What is the yes to, Vicky? Ezra, you guys ruin all of my videos. What is the issue? I want to play if Daddy will let me. Go step in my water there. Well, it is after 9 o'clock. What are you trying to play? I wanted to play on my iPad. And he said no? Yes, and I haven't got to play that much today. You've been playing all day. I haven't got to play Not more. on the iPad, but you've been playing all day. Can I can I finish this video? Like, do you guys have to scream? Who got all over your arm? Emma! Okay, can you go upstairs? I want to play on my iPad. Okay. Well, can I, I, Mom, can I finish this? Yes, but I want to play my iPad. Oh my gosh, yeah, thank you. This is great. All I ask you to do is to allow you to finish this. Mm. Finish your video. It's my family. Get upstairs. Oh, I'm going to play on my iPad. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play on my iPad. 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 Yeah, I'm going to play on Is that they're so spaced apart in between so it's not we're gonna have to pick another color unless we do the fawn in there in the middle maybe oh my gosh So I'm going to put, can you guys see this? Yeah, you can. I'm going to put my marigold up here. And then I'm going to grab my fawn. And I'm going to go like this. Try to do it without being too wasteful, but as long as we can... We have a little space. We might be able to put some back in the jar. But even if not, hopefully we end up with just a really pretty... <laughs> oh, Sue. It's like I'm the only one that can get him to do what he's supposed to do. It's so ridiculous. Got a big glump there. There we go. All right, there we go. So then what I do is I have three squeegees for each color, and I'm gonna start with the marigold and smooth it out so that I can take the excess like this. I'm just going to go ahead and do the blue next. Oh, Jesus. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a clean finger, <sighs> laundry soap, like a Tide Pod, you mean? And I'm going to go ahead and blend these together. Oh, I think I might have just re not realized I had so much yellow on there for that blending. All 
right. I do have some extra on here, so I'm just going to squeegee this up. I'm not quite sure what this is going to look like because I'm so distracted by the madness going on upstairs right now. not like a Tide Pod. Let's go ahead and peel this and see. Oh, yeah. Let's look at this. So, we have Marigold going into Fawn, going into Forget-Me-Not. What do you think? Let me just get these squeegees in this water bath and then I will show you. Done. Here we go. You ready? Oh, I love it. Oh. Always take the scenic route. Hope you guys can see the ombre on. I don't know if you can with that lighting up there. I'll take a picture to see if we can see it better. Yeah, maybe you could see it. <laughs> uh, Sue, relax. What's that? Hold on. Uh, let's see. I think you can see it better when it's this way. Yeah. I love it. But yes, I will take a picture for you guys. I'm going to go and break this up upstairs and wash my transfers. But I'll take a picture for you. And remember to always take the scenic route. Have a great night. See you on Monday.